You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 330, Eggglass Angels Season 5, Episode 8, recorded July 2020, posted February 2022. Regdar's Demons. What's that smell? It's sand. That means we are on Athos. I'm Scott McNulty, your dungeon master, and you are listening to a podcast where we play Dungeons and Dragons for your amusement. I am joined by the members of Eglath's Angels, who I will introduce now. I will not start with Tony because he just took a drink. I will start with Dan Morin. <laughs> oh, hi. Funny meeting you here, Scott. Uh, I play Eglath. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> All right, I, I played Eglath. It was the last Good word job. I heard. Oh, so sad. No, I play Amwal, Eglath's brother, legally distinct, uh, a Goliath barbarian. And uh, my favorite character. Uh, oh, <laughs> That's news to me. Wow. <laughs> Aline Sims is here. Hello. I play Shara, the Eri Genasi rogue. Who is also my favorite character. Thank Jason you. Snell. <laughs> Hello, I play Carlos D. Dwarf, a mole, a gladiator, and he's great, and he likes to run and hit things, and I'm going to miss him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll miss him too, because he is my favorite character. Ah. Erica Ensign. <laughs> I, uh, I'm playing Zotasha. I'm a, a tiefling mystic, who's also a spy. Ooh. What? You're a spy? Did we know that? <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 you we did. did. We did. That's yes. how you met me. Remember, we met her because she had infiltrated the cult? Yeah. Yeah. Amal's yeah. memory is not the best. <laughs> She's or knowledge of things at the uh, time. Or Dan, That's what happens Dan's when you lose your also. soul. Also, also my favorite character. And finally, Steven Lutz. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> I am playing Kachka. She's a bug. She's a bard. Wait, you're both right. Uh, and... She's Scott McNulty's favorite character. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't care for her. No. Oh. <laughs> you were last we met. Hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Tony Sindelar, are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you playing a character? I am playing Regdar, a guy. Excellent. When I said that you had taken a drink Zips uh, up. In, in my mental inventory, that meant I had already yeah. introduced you. <laughs> I, I, see, I see what you did. I see where it's you went Jersey wrong. It's the kind of taking a drink where it means that you never And now I can't edit that out, so that's easier for me. <laughs> see? Yeah, this podcast has been driving me to drink for literally minutes. You see, there you go. This is the kind of thing that podcast listeners like, oh, yes. I've been told by no one. Nope. Uh, so when you were <laughs> in a room underground... <laughs> Uh, in a kind of a sub-basement of a cultist temple, uh, you have found in this sub-basement, actually, this may be a sub-sub-basement. Uh, this is not a temple itself? This, this is, is not... this is another temple. It's a sub... It's got a ziggurat in it. That's very It temple-y. does, yes. You found it, an underground ziggurat uh, where uh, it seems you've interrupted some sort of sacrifice there is a uh, halfling who is bound on top of this ziggurat on the on the the apex of the ziggurat is a is a a, a knight black altar uh, also uh, one of the elemental prophets is there uh, a, a, a rather moist looking fellow <laughs> who seems to know a lot about you uh, and he's also astride a giant crocodile and he is surrounded by uh, several acolytes uh, and uh a watery humanoid figure dressed in armor, and you had engaged in some subterfuge by using some invisibility uh, and uh, sneaking around to uh, interrupt whatever these people are up to. Uh, and then you will recall, I don't think he introduced himself, the, the prophet. Uh, maybe he did. His name is Gar. Um, so let's just say he did. Uh, and he has been, he's rather polite, and he's trying to, to woo you over to his side. Um, TBD if he is uh, winning you over or not. Me say you can party I... on, Gar. Mm. Are we already fighting uh, these guys? I thought we were fighting Scott, these guys. Scott, can I just uh, ask some clarifying questions to remind uh, the listeners and me, and me who forgets things yes. uh, what's going on in combat here? So there is one, one, one evil cult leader. Yes. There's one giant crocodilo that he is atop. Mm-hmm. There are no other, at least that we know of, giant crocodiles. Um, what manner of creature are his various... Uh, I don't know if I want to call them minions or hench people or, you know, <laughs> hench minions. the warriors. 
that are surrounding him. What, what nature of uh, all of the warriors are humans? There are mm-hmm. two warriors who have um, short swords and that have kind of they look like they have shark teeth on them. Um, and oh yes, I remember that they, the serrated swords. They're walking around, and there are two mounted uh, uh, might you might call them. Uh, dark tide knights if you were feeling poetic uh they are uh, mounted on giant crabs and they have uh lances i believe and short swords and there is crabs lizards water person normal humans except they're gussied up by being on crabs this is a weird shopping list (laughs) and you'll remember that the um the Igar Shatterkeel is his name. He has uh learning more face. about this guy by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> he's got kind of like barnacles all over his face, but he's also oh, right. has uh one arm is uh a, a ends in a giant kind of crab claw. Okay. Giant, so very giant monster arm. <laughs> giant monster yeah, arm. Giant <laughs> That's hey, we what have we learned That's about judging what have we learned about judging people who have giant monster arms, Dan? And, and for, for the oh. listeners at home or the listeners out and about, wherever you are, don't make me tell you where to go. Uh, several of the party are invisible and two of the party are um, hiding behind some rocks. Yeah. One of the party is Regdar. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes. So now we, we, when we last met, we ended mid combat, and I believe the turn that we ended on was everyone's favorite, except for me, Bug uh-huh. Kachka. Neat. So, yeah, the, so- the, the map is as you see it, Kachka. You have you have snuck yourself uh, up the part of the ziggurat. There, you're on the the eastern face of the ziggurat on the staircase, and you're 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 invisible, um, but you're near one of these uh, knights who is riding a crab. Right. All right. Well, I'm still invisible, which is nice. Um, Before we ended our previous session, we were attempting to go rescue that halfling, and that seems like it's off the table now because there's a lot of dudes walking around here, and I strongly suspect if I untie a halfling and carry it off, although invisible, (laughs) it will be a little obvious that something is happening. You could at least untie or like cut the the ropes and then let him run away. (laughs) I think Um, having him tied... Okay, fine, then I'll have to do it. Oh. Uh, instead, uh, I mean, I'm I will fail to... because I am not sneaky, but I will try. I yeah, I think once you start untying, when right next to him is some creature or dude that we're trying to avoid. I don't really care if he lives. I just want him to die somewhere other than right there. Yeah, I don't want to die as part of it. Is the thing. So I'm going <laughs> to step down a couple of feet off of the the ziggurat, as it were. All right. It is, in fact, a ziggurat. Okay. And then, now this whole area here, uh, the ziggurat, other than Mm -hmm. the halfling, it's all enemies, and Carlos is off to the left, right? Everybody else is... So you don't know where Carlos is? You don't know where Carlos is, because he's invisible. But yes, other than the halfling, everyone on the ziggurat, who is visible, uh, is is an... Well, you don't know. The halfling, of course, could be an enemy. It seems unlikely. But uh, he has volunteered. <laughs> so I'm going to step back and play a quiet chord on my cleatar. <laughs> and I'm going to cast. Please don't and spell become that. Visible. Um, I'm going to cast. Yeah, I will become visible. It's fine. I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Ooh. Which creates a 30 foot cube, which I believe can encompass every one of these dudes. And they each must make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Yum. All right. First, oh, every uh, creature who sees the pattern, I should say. So if anybody uh, is blind or is this otherwise. like a mag- this is like a magic eye thing you're doing, Ketchka? Yeah, it's like a laser show. Like some, I'm playing Pink Sweet. Floyd. Mm. Nice. Uh, well, we'll do giant crocodiles. You first. ever play Pink Floyd backward? Sounds the same. It's really cool. Yeah. It's very, very similar. <laughs> uh, sixteen. My DC is sixteen, so that's a pass. All right. Some some the two warriors with. Uh, toothsome swords fail. Uh, the two uh, crab riding knights succeed. Crab knights? How about crab the crabs? Uh, oh, that's a good point. Uh, one of the crabs fails, the other makes it. That's a wise crab. It is a wise crab. You know what a wise crab once told me? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, the the, the watery shaped 
Yeah, great I, storytelling I, here, Dungeon Master. Oh. I had a good setup, but not, I couldn't. You really wove that imagination world <laughs> yeah. for us. Mm-hmm. Yes, and and uh, so the the elemental um, makes it, and it looks like the uh, Gar Shatter Keel. It seems like for a moment he is uh, hypnotized, and then he kind of shrugs it off. Okay, so I got two two dudes and a and a crab. Two at a pizza place. <laughs> Love that show. Thank you. <laughs> and the ziggurat. It's very tasty. And the ziggurat. It's, and it's all ziggurat. seafood pizza. It's kind of coming weird. this fall to ABC. Yes, all right. So, so the three who guys. failed their save uh, are charmed for the duration, which is up to one minute as long as I maintain concentration. Although I'm not sure I have to do that because it does say the pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. But at any rate, um, you, you, you need to maintain concentration. The charmed creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. If it takes any damage, or if someone else uses an action to try and wake it up, then it will no longer be incapacitated. So aim elsewhere, unless you got something that's going to kill them outright. And you are visible. I am visible. Now, were you? Did you cast invisibility, or I did? Okay. Yeah, that was. I didn't cast it. I I you, used. You uh, minded it. Step from sight. Hi, Katchka. <laughs> And yes, Ketchka appears, Umlal, you are, I imagine you and Regdar are kind of peeking around the rock and you see Ketchka appear. Um, How do you get over there? <laughs> and that's fine with me because I want to let, let everybody who might potentially be casting a damage, uh, a splash damage spell know where I'm at. Uh, and now the, uh, the guy riding the crab sees that you have appeared. And so he... Uh, hey, what's up? Comes over here. Yeah, shouldn't he have to roll some kind of crab versus insect um, <laughs> companionship? <laughs> Land crab versus yeah. sea crab. And uh, he's they're actually. Like, they're carapace buddies. <laughs> yes, they are not. He is going to swing. He actually takes out, he drops his lance and takes out a short sword and swings it twice. Take a, ch- take a chat twice. about Titan. Twice. Chat about Titan is the. Start, uh, <laughs> the Total Party Kill after show where we dissect the it's, Dark Zone episode. It's a, technically, Tony, it's Cat about it's Titan. Titan. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Not as much. So you, uh, words, words. Unless it's hosted ways. by a cat who's very oh. interested in bugs. <laughs> oh, is true. Watch. A certain, a certain tabaxi. Um, the knight swoops in, misses with one sword kind of uh, wildly, and hits for with the other swipe as it kind of on a backhand swings back and you take nine points of piercing damage. Okay. The other How you doing there, knight is, uh, takes his turn to basically hit Hang his on, I think repeatedly. I gotta probably to do a saving throw of some sort. So that his uh, crab will wake up and not be charmed. So that is what he does. Oh, well he's awfully quick to realize what went wrong with his crab. That seems a little... Suspect. We, we did see a hypnotic pattern of here. <laughs> <laughs> Crab is not answering his emails now, so he wasn't yeah, impressed no. though. He's seen this Cirque du Soleil. Not already. his first not his first crab rodeo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Alright, so I presume I have to do a save to avoid losing concentration. Uh yes you do. Alright, well that is a sixteen. You make your save. Great. And now we've got our uh, water elemental Myrmidon. Uh, who... I can't tell how in trouble we are yet. Any, anybody have a sense? I feel like I'm probably we're really pretty in trouble. In trouble but yeah. uh, but Zotasha as a character is like my flaw is like I gotta get it done. And yeah. I'm here to there's like. The, there's the, the I, fun thing about D and D five fifth edition, I guess, and most Dungeons and Dragons is like we could be totally hosed, but it could be like a good forty five minutes before we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like That's a true. very very slow car wreck yeah. that we were yeah. all watching. Am- Amla was too dumb and to unaware that trouble. it's a car wreck. But yeah, for sure we were hosed from the very beginning. There was never any doubt. We just and had I mean to it just it seems out, seems bad, ziggurat, whatnot. But you know, I don't know. So Tasha's Reg- Reg- pretty. Pretty smart, but she actually like cares more about squashing this ritual from happening than she does about mm-hmm. any of your lives. So, sorry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, so Ketchka, this she, kind she of never this, it. this uh, basically water spout that's wearing plate armor kind of flows down the stairs of the you ziggurat. See that every day. It's it is holding a, a large triton, and it comes and it kind of swoops in like a wave and hits you 
or at least attempts to hit you. Yes. Three times with its triton. Three times? <laughs> trident. Is it a three? trident? Yep. We trident. established that it's last time. It's not like a trident. sea person. It's like it's just bludgeoning you well, over the head with. I mean, tri- Triton is one of the moons of Neptune, so that would be <laughs> really powerful. That's a blud- bludgeoning <laughs> damage. Wait. Yeah. All right, so yep, let me know what I mispronounced it. Hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> we have... Uh, I, hit I feel better about my whole Titan, Titan thing. 15? Uh, <laughs> does a 15 hit Kachka? It does, but I'm going to use a bardic inspiration and execute some cutting words to try and decrease, which definitely will because that is my armor class. All right. So that one misses. So one misses. Uh, the other two hit it. Hit it. Hit you. Hit it. Uh, <laughs> no. I, uh... Now also the it hits you uh, twice, and you also feel like uh, you notice something unusual that the the uh, trident is uh, very cold. So you also take some extra cold damage. Uh, yes. Uh, so you take a total Eight. of. 30 points of damage. Wow. Yeah, okay, I'm going to wow. go with the hose thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. I, those, are, those are some overcooked cat dogs there. I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Scott's hosed. tired of us, I think, is the answer. <laughs> yeah. He's got babies to change. He, no, he remembered yeah, in episode fine. 250 where everyone's like, there aren't enough total party kills on total <laughs> party kills. Yeah. My yeah understanding many is people Scott, said that. Scott, Scott bought a new dedicated dungeon mastering apartment, and I feel like he is, you know. I am ready. The, the bank expects me to do certain Dungeons and Dragons duties, and one of them is kill a party, so I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's a weird gotta, mortgage deliver, contingency there. Yeah, a gallon of player blood must be delivered on the first of each month. So I don't make the rules. Uh, the the crocodile... Have, technically, I think you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we agree upon the rules. Regdar, it is your turn. All right. Uh, I was thinking I might do this later if things got really bad. Uh, I have a I have a, a spell that none of you have seen before. Uh, I mean, because I'm a regular guy, and sometimes magic just happens near me. This mm. might be a bad idea, but I think we could all agree it's, it's an idea. <laughs> um, uh, Regdar is going to use his fourth level spell that he acquired, uh, I believe, when I hit level seven, which is... Summon Greater Demon. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Why um, not? Yeah, so uh, I utter some foul words, summoning a demon from the chaos hey, of mouth. the abyss. Um, I-, I choose the demon's type. I am going to go with Bar- Balgura, because that is the oh. most powerful demon I am capable of summoning at level 7. Um, so, such as a shadow demon or a... Bo- okay, spell. You don't have to tell me what to do. Uh, the <laughs> demon appears in an unoccupied space. I can see it within range. It's range is 60 feet. Uh, Scott, I want you to put a demon, you know, in... I guess I should have looked at the map more closely. Uh, somewhere that it would be useful 60 feet away from me because I don't want to be too close to that demon. Well, um, you have to tell me where that might be. <laughs> um. Well, what if I drop it? Yeah, drop um, it right next to the helpless half. That's a good place for Yeah, what if I drop it on a crocodile? Does it say it has to be an unoccupied spot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right next to the crocodile. Oh, okay. It does have to be an unoccupied You're not allowed to drop demons on people, otherwise I'd be doing it all day. Um, <laughs> so I drop a demon next to the crocodile. Now, there are some challenges uh, vis-a-vis the demon. <laughs> so, Scott, you may want to uh, power up your, uh, your monster's manual and go to uh, page 56. <laughs> Where Bulgura. I look up monsters, there are no pages. Okay, the, the, <laughs> the Bargura is basically your your gorilla of demons, I not 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 a friendly a fellow. Um, so the demon is there. Uh, we can roll initiative for the demon because it has its own turns. Uh, there's some challenges here vis-a-vis how long the demon is my friend. Um, when you summon it on, and, an, and on each of the turns of turns after, I can issue a verbal command to it, requiring no action on my part, telling it what to do. Murder the crocodile guy. Uh, if I should no command, it spends attack attacking any creature within reach that has attacked it. At the end of each of the demon's turn, it makes a criminal saving throw. Discipline might be on a, on a, out of my control once that happens. Um, don't worry about that. That's a standard <laughs> boilerplate. Um, yeah. Oh. Also, Regdar, as part of doing this, uh, draws a little circle in blood around his feet, and he is not leaving the circle because it is the only safe place on the map now. Um, <laughs> No, well, the, great. The circle. It, the circle is only large enough to control uh, contain Regdar. Circle of <laughs> blood. Now, now, Regdar, I have a, an important question to ask you. Um, I probably do don't you, have a useful answer. 
Do you know this demon's true name? I do not. Okay. First time casting this spell, haven't had the pleasure. <laughs> just, just I know that once sure. you know a demon's true name, uh, you have an advantage on persuading it to do things, uh, because that is a powerful thing to know a demon's true name. Regdar, not that informed a demon summoner. So, <laughs> first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, so uh, as a... Uh, Nobody can, I think, who can see you? So, Umlal, you see uh, Regdar kind of pull out a, a flask of blood and quickly uh, sketch a circle that he is standing in. Uh, you look, you're kind of confused. Be thirsty. Hand, hand it over. <laughs> nah, it, the, uh, this isn't red Kool-Aid. That's the other flask, Umlal. <laughs> mm. And then you hear uh, kind of a large kind of rent in reality, so however you think that might sound. Uh, and you, uh, you, this... Very large, very angry gr- red and blue gorilla <laughs> appears at the top of the ziggurat. Uh, it should roll initiative. I will let mm-hmm. Tony, I'll let you roll initiative because you are currently in control of this uh, Balgora. Briefly. Theoretically. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's dex modifiers plus two. Ooh, I rolled a four. All right. So he is. Um, it's, it's, it's confused. I also, I mean, I mainly figured A. This is a high-level spell I can use. B, I don't know how demons from the abyss feel about bringing forth elemental princes. I think I just like I figure, even if this doesn't necessarily help us immediately, like you know, maybe maybe somebody in one of the pits of hell can take care of business later if we all die here. I feel like also minutes. great distraction. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. leave a note, and <laughs> my note is a red and blue gorilla that I have summoned from the abyss. There you go. Now this gorilla I mean, you is. You probably don't know how to write, so. Yeah. It is eight feet tall, six hundred and fifty pounds. It is a large, very large creature. It is it is quite impressive. Mm-hmm. As as demons go. It's its fists are like huge. They're kind of oversized. <laughs> this this creature is like forty five percent fist. Yes, this is not a subtle demon. No. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Regdar? <laughs> uh I think that was my answer. <laughs> And I can't leave my circle of blood, so I'm good. Do you want to... I just say, good luck, everybody. Okay. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing uh, with his fingers? Zip zopping. Uh, yeah, finger, well, finger like... crossbows. Uh, but I'm, Zosh, out of, I'm out of Zosh. action. Zosh. Uh, okay, well, I just saw Kashka up here, and that was that was not at all doing what I what what I told her to do, so I'm going to remember that for the next time I have an invisibility spell I don't want to waste. Uh, and I'm going to... Uh, just dash one, two, three, four, five, six, so I can get to here. Um, and I'm going to remain invisible and try to be sneaky as much as possible. I'm hoping that you don't have to be super sneaky anymore because the person next to the halfling is incapacitated now. That's true. Also, a demon just appeared, which is probably at least a little bit distracting. Um, (laughs) so what is my welcome stealth plus two? Okay, so that's a 19. On my stealth check. Also, Regdar is going to need a nap after this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so I uh, I get up to here and I'm just like that's that's just all I can do on this turn. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping to I I will right. uh, I guess spend my uh, free action just sort of like looking at the at the ropes or whatever it is that's tying him down to figure out what to do on my next turn. Uh, they are ropes. So you look at them. But he looks tightly bound. Okay. Uh, he looks. Uh, he's also gagged. Uh, and he looks at you. Oh, well, he doesn't see you because you're invisible, nope. so he doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's kind of, you can sense, uh, just by looking at him, uh, <laughs> that's a sense, that he is kind of panicking, but he can't say anything because there's a lot of weird stuff happening. <laughs> 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 he does not like it one bit. All right. So then I guess I will wait for my next turn to, I don't know, like, will cutting him out of the ropes be an action? And like, yes, his gags and stuff? Okay, so. That'll be next turn. And you're also standing right next to this black, very black, deep black altar. Yeah. How uh, tall is that altar? Uh, the altar is... Uh, and how tall am I? See. And how much do I have to duck to like be hiding uh, behind it? So it, I would say it's probably um, maybe three and a half feet tall. Uh, you know, since you're so close to it now, you notice that it is basically... It's, it's black granite. Very, very dark black granite, um, mm. but there are also uh, blood stains all over it, and there are fresh, uh, fl- fresh blood is all over it and trickling down to this, the back steps oh, no. of the ziggurat as well. Can I make an arcana check? 
while I'm sure. standing here just to see if I can sort of figure anything else out about this and what's going on. That's 16. Uh, so you can tell, you you can surmise uh, that it, it looks like this is some sort of uh, temple, obviously, uh, that sacrifices are involved. And it's probably in these kinds of scenarios used for like divination, scrying, that kind of thing. So trying to to sacrifice up something in order to get an answer from a, a, a higher power about something. So knowing what I know about uh, the the plans to bring in all of these awful, terrible, uh, powerful creatures, does mm-hmm. it look like that's what's happening here? Or does it look like they're doing some other type of ritual that's not necessarily directly related to that? Uh, it is, it's hard to tell if they are doing the appropriate ritual or not. You can You can surmise that they're going to kill this halfling for some reason, um, and okay. they seem to have put him effort into getting him onto the top of the cigarette so it seems like it's going to be a ritualistic killing but if you don't know based on what you see if that ritual is going to be for divination reasons or just mm-hmm. for you know some other thing okay so so i'm, I'm pretty c- convinced that his location on top of the altar on top of the ziggurat is important so if i got him off of there and he happened to die somewhere else then we'd be okay, at least in terms of whatever ritual is happening right now. Yes, you could you could tell it's it's fairly obvious that the ritual involves placing your your subject onto this altar and then okay. exsanguinating them. All right. Well, then I am alter the ritual. Alter the ritual. I'm I'm ready for my next turn. Then pray so. we do not alter it further. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jason, please hand Dan the card where I say Dan will make a Star Wars reference in 10 seconds. <laughs> so. What? Three lines of code. Uh, so the the warriors are still hypnotically uh, uh, hypnotized, charmed. So they don't do anything. They just kind of hang out because they can't move. They're incapacitated and they're charmed. Carlos, you are invisible. You're standing next to a giant crocodile who is being ridden by uh, uh, a prophet are you you just made yourself uninvisible well i think i'm going to attack him which is going to cause me to decloak if you hit yes so you're going to attack there are two targets near you a giant crocodile and someone who's riding a giant crocodile yes (laughs) who would you classic classic prisoner's dilemma uh so i'm going to attack the rider Let's see if we can't get you swallowed by a crocodile in every campaign. (laughs) Wouldn't that be nice? Um, I'm going to... Oh, this is a caiman. Totally different. (laughs) Uh, And Carlos has lots of attacks. So here we go. Uh, First attack is with the flame tongue short sword. That's 26. A 26 will hit. You are now visible. I am now visible. Okay. And holding a fiery sword. Yeah, with, with my fiery sword. Yes. Um... Uh, and I am going to do um, eight piercing damage and eight flame damage, fire damage. Okay. So 16 total. He doesn't seem to uh, take any additional damage from the, the flame. Okay. Or, or But he know. doesn't take less either. So he does not. That's my question. Is a water guy, is a water guy going to not like the flame or, lo- or think if the flame is dumb? Uh, the answer is neither. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Um, He's ambivalent towards well, the that, that was my that was my first uh first weapon, but of course I also have my plus one scimitar that used to be pressed as Aw. Moment of silence. Uh and that's R. I. P. an eighteen to hit. Uh eighteen to hit will hit. Oh hooray. Then we're gonna get uh five slashing damage. All right. Um but I have an extra attack, so I get to roll the flame tongue short sword one more time. That's a uh, 24 to hit. 24 will hit. And I'm going to do... Nineteen more damage. Okay. To okay. the dude. Um, and now I'm going to take my... Uh, action Surge. And I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> Rock, rock that uh, ziggurat. 
a very <laughs> loud noise uh, emerges hitting the guy and the crocodile in front of me. They must make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 11. Uh, the guy makes it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the crocodile does not. Is All that right. going to hit anybody behind him there? The crocodile is going to just nope. slide out from under him. That's right. Um, or it'll carry him along. It'll carry him along. Uh, well, that was terrible. How terrible was it? Um, yes. <laughs> it was a four. It was a four. Okay, so the guy takes two more damage. Yay. The crocodile takes four damage, but is pushed 10 feet away, which I hope means the guy falls off the crocodile. But if not, uh, maybe maybe he has to... You decide how, whether he, he can hold on or not, uh, Scott, but... I do. 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, does hold on. He gets pushed back. Now, that's a 15-foot cube, so does it also hit that guy to the north of him? Uh, He does not make it, so he takes four points of damage. And is pushed 10 feet away from me. Yes. And then is he prone, or is he just pushed? Uh, He's on a crab, so he's fine. And so, Carlos, you become visible, uh, and the the prophet uh, looks at you and says, Ah, Carlos... I, I wondered where you were. Why? Why are you? This guy is us? real. Why don't you join us? What? What's? Uh, what benefit do you gain by fighting us? Look, water. Have you seen? Have you Why ever? Why does this guy get to talk? It's yeah, not his look, turn. Look, buddy. As, shut up, buddy. buddy. You want to chat with us? You have six seconds yeah, allotted. You want to chat with us? This. Meet us at a tavern as an un, 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 unremarkable <laughs> NPC. This is a ziggurat. We're here to do business. <laughs> Uh, well, if he's going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> That's it. Uh, anything else, Carlos? Uh, nope. Okay. Shara, what would you like to do? You are currently invisible. A lot has happened. Yeah. It's been a <laughs> Things day. Things have been moved around. Giant it's demonic around. orangutans have a, uh, a, appeared. I think I want to take a nap. Can, can... <laughs> sure. Okay. You're invisible. No one All knows. Right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, um, right. Just hunker down. Yeah, you can tell them later that you did a whole bunch That's of stuff. That's always the problem you know, the when you craft invisibility and nobody really knows. It's an honor system. <laughs> it's an honor system thing. Um. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to um make the assumption that I'm going to uncloak here. Uh, I'm going to step forward and try to hit this. This is the a crab guy, right? That is a uh, watery humanoid in not a armor. not a genasi, okay. right? Something something else. No, no, this is like no. literally more, made of more water. F- further and, on and... the elemental spectrum. Got it. Yes. So I'm gonna try to swipe at it with my. Well, I am gonna swipe at it with my dagger, but that's a twelve versus AC. That that scrapes off of its its armor. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna try to hit it with my rapier of wounding. Oh, that's a much better twenty-one versus AC. Uh, you you slide between uh, a couple of plates as it is kind of uh, uh, torrenting, and uh, okay, feel as though you have injured this water. <laughs> okay, so they are wounded. Ooh. Um, at the start of its next turn, it's going to take one d four of necrotic damage unless it saves. Um, it also cannot regain points lost to the rapier, uh, without taking a long rest. So he won't be able to, they won't be able to heal. Um, it's, it's not going to take a long rest right now. Yeah. It's so, not invisible. Go to sleep, water. <laughs> that's, that's five points of damage. But since Kachka is right there, um, I also oh. get my sneak attack. So that'll be oh. another 4d6. This is good. And 46. That, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. I was waiting. Um, Sorry, that's I was reading. 19 <laughs> points of damage. And then I'm going to take oh. my bonus action to disengage. Well, that is smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to disengage and step back. Well, <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to disengage oh. and step back because I'm worried about Ketchka going down and not being able to heal. All right. Well, you you chose the heroic route. I'm going to run away. I won. What a fool! Applaud you. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of fools, Ulal, it's your turn. (laughs) My turn. (laughs) Well, fools rush in. Um, You're behind a rock. You're you've been peeking over, so you've been seeing what's going on. Uh, I got the popcorn out. 
<laughs> you hand some to regular. He's in a, yeah. a circle Pop- of blood. You keep it down. Popcorn it's the circle actually- of blood. <laughs> I made that joke 20 minutes yeah, ago, but yeah. nobody <laughs> liked it then. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, Nobody liked it this time either. Don't feel bad. <laughs> popcorn doesn't exist on Athos, so Amal is eating small rocks. Um, <laughs> oh, pop rocks. Uh, and Amal has like three hit points, right? <laughs> no, that's a small um, pox. You got the wrong box. <laughs> uh, Amal has four hit points, so oh, the idea of better. running in seems especially foolish. Not to say I'm not considering doing it. Um, I, but I'm going to need some healing. How are we on healing spells, team? We have some. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. I hear the demon um, will heal you. But, yeah, I mean, not not for a couple of turns, at least, or a couple of rounds. Turns. Uh, all turns. right. Uh, Amla will poke his head around the rock and throw a javelin at that thing that Shara and Kachka have surrounded oh, this this whirling water spout that is armored and with a i can think of nothing trident. better to throw at a whirling water spout than a freaking javelin <laughs> <laughs> it is its one weakness good 26 that hits uh and it that sinks into its be... water li- water watery bowels uh, that's unnecessary. Wow. Irritable bowel syndrome <laughs> is a serious doctor. condition. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. K-O-Pectate. I'm trying to, to paint a picture weapons. with my words. Uh, it's not yeah. a pretty so, picture. It's just see if I get picture. better. I would have to get six. Hey, I got a six. Great. Oh. Uh, that's 11 damage. Excellent. that water spouty thing. Doesn't like it. I think that's literally all I can do, so I'm going to pop back behind the rock. Oh. Discretion is the better part of valor. And oh, now, now, a giant a demon, demon turn. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Let's go. Everybody, Team Belgarok, try and get it on his good side. Um, <laughs> so I have, have ordered Belgarok's uh, angels. <laughs> <laughs> I have ordered the Belgarok to attack uh, brand. Devils? the crocodile, crocodile rider. Ah, uh, okay. De- uh, demons and devils are very different, Jason. All right. Crocodile Rider. It's Re- Regdar's <laughs> Demons now. Regdar's How do you like that one, Dan? That was good. I like that. All right. <laughs> did you do that one two minutes ago? I did. Right. I wish okay. I had. <laughs> Tony, you should be able to move that token now. Okay. So it, it pursues the crocodile stage left. Um, <laughs> so uh, do you want me to just roll some stuff for this demon? Yeah, you tell me you are controlling the demon currently. So well, you could do what it wants. Briefly. Well, briefly. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the demon uh, has multi attack. So the demon is going to punch, uh, punch the crocodile or the no. I, I mean oh, the rider. Don't right? say that on a family friendly podcast. I, wait, is there a reason not to punch the rider because of the thing that uh, Kachka did to him? My feeling is that he's nope. the he's no. the person who's running this whole show, and we need to take him out. So, which is why I went over. All right. So yeah, uh, that's never resulted bu- in everybody dying in one combat you wanna, before. You want to talk to the manager? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> two uh, two uh, fist attacks coming. This is a uh, what do I have? Sorry, I'm trying to read it, the Monster's Manual at the same time. Plus seven to this critical fail. Oh no! And this <laughs> it's going uh, great. Six, sixteen going great, going great, demon. <laughs> uh, um, sixteen will miss. All right, all right. The demon, having been frustrated after flinging its giant fists around, uh, will just kind of r- lean forward and try and bite. Um, also sixteen. So oh, I yeah. suspect sixteen misses 16 the second misses. time. Um, <laughs> Well, that was not great for Team Demon. The other thing the Demon gets to do, I believe, is now possibly break free of my control. Yes, right. A com- uh, charisma saving throw. I will roll the saving. Yeah, I was gonna say it feels like a conflict of interest. Right? <laughs> yeah, a conflict of interest for me to roll that. <laughs> now, luckily, uh, the bug the bug girl does have a yeah minus one to charisma. So, yeah, fifteen. Uh, and that is against my spell save. Yes, my spell save is fifteen. Oh my oh god! No. <laughs> did you take, did you do All the, right, just Scott, did you do the minus one? Yes. Ah. Do do I have? I, inspiration would not be relevant here. I can't. There's no way to boost my. Spell we need save. some way to reduce like Bane or something that reduces yeah. his roll. Um. Well, good news. <laughs> Also yeah. bad, is bad something, news. Good news is something that we do not have right now. Uh, I mean, the demon well. is still here. He is just no longer subservient to me. Um, well. I don't know, Scott. There's a really, there's a rich 
discussion at this point that you could be having with us or you could be having inside your Dungeon Master head Mm -hmm. about what are the interrelations of demons and the abyss and uh, elemental evils. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, there, there are many things I'm considering. I'm also considering, does a demon know who has summoned him from where he was very comfortable and has uh, landed him upon this ziggurat that he didn't really want to be on and has I commanded suspect, him yes. to do things he, that he didn't want to The demon looks around. And the de- well, first Come on, off, everybody saw- wants a, a paid vacation yeah. in Athos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come, come to the basements of Athos. See our ziggurats. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I think he definitely knows because I was commanding him and he sees, he sees a little little guy in the robe standing way over there we're in a You're hiding behind a rock in a circle behind a rock mm-hmm. so, yeah. I, and now so many other people you could punch on the way there yeah bulgur is uh, just like to uh hit things it's true they are yeah they are not, they're not i mean so I, there's a, 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 a 50 50 chance that it will either just hit whatever targets it's near uh or it, it will be in such a rage that it's going to go after rictar and we'll find out which one that is uh, on its turn <laughs> Yeah. Kachka. You've oh heard this, this giant demon kind of roar uh, in, in frustration and then in delight as it realizes it's no longer being controlled. If anyone could make the crocodile attack the demon, that would be great. <laughs> Just like like give the a sternly worded letter to the crocodile. That's like, <laughs> that, Dear crocodile. That would be fun. And you also have this this kind of swirling, uh, watery humanoid in plate armor next to you, and uh, a a crab bestride knight threatening you with a short sword. Oh, I just noticed something that I probably should have read on my character sheet a long time ago. Apparently, because I've got my cleatar, uh, enemies have a disadvantage on saves against charm, mm. which would have been nice to so know when I cast that, a spell yeah. that attempted to charm everybody and failed on most of them. See. Oh boy! So um, and you you never appreciate the things I give you, Steve. You didn't give me that. I give everyone everything in this <laughs> game. Victoria, <laughs> <never Whoa>! <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> yeah, um, this seems like a real good time to disengage from this combat. I find myself embroiled in, so I'm going you to do it. that. Wait, you mean you and Scott, or you mean Katka? And- <laughs> <laughs> no, me and Scott, we're going to engage in this for probably the rest of our lives. <laughs> but as far it's, as Kachka and her combat goes, the certainty is comforting. <laughs> right. Uh, she will use her action to disengage, and that then she's wise. going to run around a rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to me, <laughs> rock! Let's all congregate behind yeah. the rocks. Four, yeah. How how five, many of us can hide behind that six. rock? I mean, I re- I just Kachka. I mean. I just want to point out, I was here first. I'm gonna bla- <laughs> Well, now I'm here second. I'm gonna blast here behind Omlal. Um, and since I have a bonus action remaining, I'd much rather use a better healing spell, but I will utilize a healing word. Woo-hoo. Excellent. On uh, Umlal, one assumes. On um, on yes, on Omlal. Omlal. Umlal. Let's call the whole thing off. Um, <laughs> off. Should, should I <laughs> win? <laughs> I'm wondering if I should think about possibly using Ooh. it at second level. I've got uh, more we'll healing. I might go to second level with you, Steve. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> now, He's Kachka, only got you're, four hit points. So. As you're yeah. pondering that, you notice that uh, for a moment you're concerned for Regdar because he he appears to be standing in a pool of blood. But then you realize it's not a pool. <laughs> it's, it's a I circle. Mean, it's, it's a circle. It's a circle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, There's a semantic definition there. Shoot. All right. Well, there are, I imagine arcane symbols. And, and God, I'm loath to use. <sighs> I think those were here when I got here, says regular. <laughs> they look like regular regular symbols to me. And see, all, all it gives me is another 1d4, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it at level 1 as... All right. Yeah, I think that's the right move. It's only a 1d4 plus my modifier, which is good. But another 1d4 on that could just be 1, and then I waste a level 2 spell slot. So uh, you will have 8 new Ooh. hit points, fresh and nice. shiny and new. Ooh, don't spend them all in one place. I probably will. Um, you will. Which will hopefully provide a bit of a buffer between me and the creatures that are going to try and attack when <laughs> you get to me. Now, as uh, Kachka scuttles behind the rock, scuttle, uh, scuttle. The, the crab knight scuttles over to Shara and swipes his short sword twice. Uh, one for a 14, which I think probably misses. Misses, yeah. And one for a 21, which 
probably hits. It does. I do have uncanny dodge, so oh. I will have the attack damage. All right. Well, then you only take two points of damage in that case as uh, this short sword. Kind do you of only get to use that you. once per uh, per turn or per round? I don't think so. It just says when an attacker you can see hits you with an attack. You yep, can use reaction God, you to have the attack. Using your reaction, use your reaction. Means once yeah, per turn. So oh, once. once per turn. Okay. So you might so want to save it for the uh, <laughs> yes. elemental. All right, so take four points of damage because okay. um, the next turn is this this watery elemental who uh, was going to go after Keshka, but she has left. Uh, okay. he, he briefly thinks about uh, or uh, going after whoever threw that javelin, but that seems like a lot of effort. You have to go behind a rock. Uh, so <laughs> we will rocks. go... And- <laughs> rocks so it takes this it's a trident and uh tries to pierce your skin <laughs> repeatedly okay as you do it's a party uh, let's see first we'll see you know okay that's good news for you and i think i've rolled very poorly so that's also ba- bad news for me but so uh 14 no all right so two uh pokes with the trident miss uh, entirely one though hits four what's the roll on that uh 24 oh yeah so i, I have think. it to 12 uh no no that was it to hit and oh that the, was, to hit. Yes, was the damage rub, but now it's not oh yeah. got it got it got it yeah. got it got it, got it. I, I don't think i can bring a 24 down enough the damage is only five okay well i'm gonna i'll, I'll i can so i'll have that. you might as well yeah mm-hmm. absolutely all right now it's our our Crocodile. Prophet and his crocodile, because uh, I forgot that uh, they both go Prophet together. Crocodile. Crocodile. <laughs> uh, so the the prophet will will uh, appear to not like having this demon next to him. Uh, yeah, the demon and, that just tried to hit him. Yes, that's true. And he is going to uh, <laughs> say, "Shara, do you still have that thing that transports us out of here and into somebody's office?" Nope, that was a one time use. Oh scroll uh he is just going to uh make his way out of here he's going to say oh he's gonna take his crocodile with him is Uh, that other guy moving with him too Uh, oh no i just grabbed him there are a lot of people on that ziggurat Mm. it's a crowded ziggurat the worst credit house cover band ever and he's going to say (laughs) <laughs> he's he's going to say uh, I don't uh, there is no need for uh, this violence if we join forces we could bring a new green age to Athos and unlock the shackles that have kept us here for so long I don't understand what you're fighting against us for what why do you, is there anything any redeeming value to Athos as it stands now that you seem to be fighting against this new order that wants to bring prosperity and water and and healing to this plane that's a lot of words for one round hey he <laughs> is uh one of the main villains he okay. can say as much right. as he wants in his six seconds <laughs> okay yeah villain exemption got it monologuing <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. he takes yeah. his action no, they get to a, do a, a monologue they... that's right. uh villains get like a lair action right. and they get these epic things yeah it's totally i gotta cool. say he's not wrong but all right but he does yeah. he did say something I mean, about how making everyone else pay which is the part that yeah, is not yeah, as yeah. good He's gonna get out of there. I just I think there's a big asterisk at the end. Exit crocodile. I'm just saying there is a system. Yeah, there's a system here. He could go and petition the sorcerer kings with this great idea. Uh, you know, he could work. He could work through the proper channels. Uh, he says, "My offer still stands. We we do not have to have this end in bloodshed any more. Bloodshed and pain. You may join forces with me." Regdar. I'm just Regdar. Regdar's just saying, you know. Where does it end? Water, healing, what next? Literacy, legal <laughs> magic. You know, I mean, canks for everyone. I just, it's not, you know, it's these things cost money. Yeah, these things, cost, rules. <laughs> these things cost money, people. Okay, Regdar is not really ready to do anything because his whole plan was to summon a demon and... Uh, Check. Worked out great. Da- Good job. Yep. <laughs> he did. Check. Also, not going to tell you, not a lot of high level spell slots left. Um, oh yeah, I'm well. I'm, I'm getting real low on side points. You know what? Uh, not not a lot of other options here. Um, I am going to uh, 
pop my head out from behind my my safety rock and oh gosh things could happen but they could be i probably safety rock safety rock um <laughs> it's a sequel to crocodile rock safety rock safety rock people what should i do i don't know what S- to do a f e t y safety rock <laughs> how about that <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry i'm just checking the range on this spell summon uh, a demon if you uh, want to <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that anymore. I did that once. <laughs> It'll um, leave you quickly behind. <laughs> yes, very. It hasn't left him behind at no. all. <laughs> no, but well, it's still staring here. at in fact, in fact, yeah. it doesn't know when to leave. Uh, it's um... All right, hold on. Is the crocodile within 150 feet of me? I believe it is. Uh, um, yes. You're always within 150 feet of a crocodile. Oh, crocodile. crocodile. <laughs> all right, last big spell slot remaining. Fireball. Yeah. Um, a bright streak flashes from your pointing finger. Zip, zop, uh, and a it, a it point you choose within range. The guy on the crocodile uh, uh, blossoms with a low roar. What? You can see the crocodile, part of the crocodile. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I, I target the part of the crocodile I okay. can see um, because that's what I can do. <laughs> um, each creature in a 20 foot radius sphere centered on that part of the crocodile must make a dexterity saving throw. My spell save is DC 15. Um, target takes 86 fire damage on a failed save. 86. Or half its must <laughs> on a successful one. Fire spreads around corner. Also, it ignites flammable objects that aren't being worn or carried. All right, which I give think me. counts. As a crocodile, <laughs> it seems like this warrior here might get hit too. Uh, yeah, that warrior will get hit. So they need to make deck saving throws. Uh. Yeah, this. Come on, work, work, work for, your, work yeah, for yeah, a living scout. The crocodile yeah. well, the, should take a penalty. The, the, for... the charmed person fails uh, uh, for being on a crocodile. Because the... how, how do you dodge from the top of a crocodile? You just jump real high. You, but it's going to hit the charmed person. Too? How you're doing? It, yeah, the charmed person has has you... failed. Fourteen. Are you rolling your d6 individually, Tony? No, I, I clicked it without rolling the eight first. Um, <laughs> nope, roll, roll one at a time. It's more dramatic <laughs> no, that no. way. <laughs> All right, 16. Does a 16 save? What, oh, 16 a is 16 the, does. Okay, so yeah, 16. one person saved, two people failed. Is one? Do I know who who failed and who succeeded? Uh, well, you, Are they secret? Aren't there four <laughs> totals, though? Are there four totals? Yeah, because there's that little crab person and then there's the charmed one and then the crocodile and the guy on the crocodile so that's you're four, making right? some assumptions based on things that you can't see oh okay oh Maybe. you're making well, some assumptions you know what i mean if we wreck his crocodile that'll i mean i feel like zotasha what's, should be able to see because i'm right there what's to the but, north what, can, what can we what can we not right why here. can we not see i can see 60 feet all right so you can see who well radar wouldn't be able to see yeah i can see twice as far of... as is clear on the map right now Actually, let me see. What is the illumination in here? Maybe you can also. And I'm on a ziggurat, so I have a nice view of everything. Yeah, you said you it was know, all glowing. Laid yeah. out. Oh, there are guttering flames. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, then you will have seen this. Uh, also, that, will... that crocodile, I just, I get the sense that that crocodile was probably like tricked out with black light paint. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like LED lights on the flame. undercarriage. Yeah, sure. It's got, yeah, it's got a, gl- it's got a glow underneath and it's got, it's got spinning crocodile arms. <laughs> um, it's impractical, I, but it, it makes a statement. Uh, I um, mistakenly thought it was uh, dark in this room, but it is not. So I will allow you to move the, the center of your fireball because uh, oh. you would have seen that Gar is, uh, so this is a pool of kind of lava, oily, liquid that has some some small flames on it and he is you saw him hop off the crocodile and he is now walking upon this liquid okay he's is he taking a bath are we interrupting guy. him he's, he's walking, walking on, on top of the liquid <laughs> okay. seems like fireball well, might would... not be too dangerous for him but we'll see well whatever i am dropping it it looks like i could drop a fireball that would hit uh him, hit him hit him and, and he not has the failed. charmed fellow <laughs> all right so the people that failed take 26 fire damage the people that succeeded take 13 fire damage, which is half of 26. All right, That's now, just is math. It, that is it's just... fire damage. It's instantaneous because I'm a wizard. Eat it. <laughs> what? Gasp. I thought you were a guy. Yeah, just, uh, just a I mean, guy. I'm a guy. So please see my business card. Mm. Also, <laughs> at this point, basically all I have left for spells are things that let me run away quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So the uh, the the warrior who is on the ziggurat uh, just bursts into flames and dies. Um, everybody else seems unhappy but not dead, which it describes me. Uh, so <laughs> and yeah. also also the the Bagara has seen my true power. That is true. Yes. Anything Always else? Good to curry, curry for the the dark. I am done. I'm Do done. Stay like that. You want to stay where you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I got my circle of blood. I'm good. <laughs> I feel like I took. I took way too long on my turn because I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. So I'm done. I'm very so, done. Tasha, thank you for reminding me of the illumination in the room. You know, you can see the whole thing, so you saw <laughs> what happened. All right. Well, that was impressive. I nod quietly to myself because I am still invisible. Um, <sighs> I will now um, untie this guy, and I that does not make me visible. Visible. Um, so. I'm going to untie him. Uh, he starts yelling because... No, I haven't taken the gag out of his mouth. I just untied him. Oh, all right. Well, he starts uh, high-pitched and uh, uh, noises. I will use telepathy to speak in his head and say, be quiet. He struggles even more because that's super weird. <laughs> I'm saving you. <laughs> I'm saving you. I'm undoing your bonds, and I want you to run away. Yeah, he'll run away. Is he, is he nodding? Uh, like, he is, uh, his eyes when, are when full I say of terror, that, uh, and he's looking say, all around. I say, will you run away if I let you go? Can he talk back to you? Or no, he, he, uh, he, he can nod though. He will nod his head. Yes. Okay. Um, then I will untie him and sort of give him a little, like, just like a little pat towards the direction that I want him to run, which is like over to that direction. All right. So and, he, he is, he's on the floor. Oh, it's not your, it's not the end of your turn. Go ahead. No. Um, and that, okay, so if that's an action, I think it's probably good to stay invisible. So I'm not going to do anything. Well, I guess I can move. Yeah, I'm going to sneak away. Okay. Five. So I'm going to sneak over to there. And I don't do great on my stealth check. What is my... Uh, it's a 10. All right. So well. I am still invisible, but I might have been somewhat hurt as I clattered down the stairs. Uh, well, this guy's still uh, charmed, so he's not going to do anything. Carlos, it's your turn. <sighs> Carlos has been taught by Regdar to do this. Uh-oh. <gasps> Zip zop. <gasps> A ray of frost <laughs> shoots out from oh, Carlos's. That one's good. That's good too. Hands. Uh, it's the the demon that is next to Carlos. Uh, to, to the guy across the way in the flames. Oh, all right. Um, this I is... worry about you, Carlos, being right next to that demon. Well, you're it, thinking it, of. So that was going to be my question: Is do I have to disengage from him, or can I just move? He's his back is to me. You tell me what you'd like to do. Well, but I'm. I'm asking. Uh, well, if so, if you do not disengage from him, he will get an op- attack of opportunity. Do I don't right. know if the de- demon is going to use it or not, but okay. Well, um, we will see. It's uh, let's see. So, ranged spell attack against target. Fifteen. Uh, 15 will not hit. Well, then that's sad, and then I'm just going to uh, do. <laughs> I disengage. Uh, so, uh, disengage. Uh, oh, is this the Ray of Frost? Is a uh, 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 range spell on the guy things? across the way in the fire pit? The the temple guy. Right, disengage disengaging is an action. action. Oh, okay. So then I can't do that. All right. Well, then yep, uh, so. that's it. Well, you can, but he might attack you. Is the thing, right? Yeah, just look, look, look really uh, demonic as a free action. Uh, yeah. Well, given how how I'm the only one close to the demon, I'm just gonna run away, and he can take his uh, he can take a shot at me if he if he if he wants to. What he kind does. of? I mean, He's do you a have a? Is it possible you, you, got a, you wanna? You got a demon disguise in your <laughs> if inventory? If he even notices, if he if he even, I will say, Scott, if he even notices me, because he is uh looking at Mister Crocodile, Scott. 
Scott, let me uh, let me ask the most player playerish question I can ask. Sure. Uh, Is it about rope? How many? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sh- sh- Dan, please, I'm working. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Do I interrupt your asinine questions about rope? Yes, but I'm, yes. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Scott, how many uh, feet of rope would you say it would take to uh, uh, create a convincing demon disguise? Thirty feet? Thirty-five feet? What are you thinking? Uh, all the rope you would take, and it was. I'm a player in a dungeon. It's in Dragon's Game. I've got 600 feet of rope. It should be noted. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, so as Carlos is uh, leaving, the demon bellows and bites into his flesh, uh, hitting. Oh, 21. not 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 his flesh. Oh, that'll hit. That. Uh, and then you take ooh, ten points of piercing damage. Okay, oh. and I ran away. Could have been. That could have been a lot worse. Yes. Uh, Shara. When does the little guy get to go? I was just gonna say he's still up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. He is. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's not. I a, guess I'll roll initiative for him. Okay. Well, since our new friend is still up there, I'm <laughs> going to take another stab at the water person here um starting with my dagger 13 versus ac that will miss okay and my rapier of wounding eight versus ac (laughs) that also misses all right um so i'm gonna disengage as my bonus action and i'm gonna um oh gosh Do I want to disengage? I hate this. This is bad. This is all bad. <laughs> it's all bad. We I, all agree. Dis- I think you should disengage. I mean, it's not great. We agree that. I mean, I'm in my circle of blood, so I got no complaints. <laughs> I'm going to disengage and move closer to the pyramid, to the ziggurat. Ooh, bold move. Yeah. We need we need the halfling to go. So yeah. <laughs> and that was all halflings turn. must go. That's right. <laughs> he uh, takes the the gag out of his mouth. Uh, he's laying on the ground, so he wiggles out of the his ba- his his uh, roped mm-hmm. uh, entanglement, and uh, reaches out and touches the altar. And as soon as he touches the altar to kind of pull himself up, he screams in pain and collapses. Awesome! Nice. This guy is the worst. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm not strong Scott? enough to have been able to, to carry it, probably, so. <laughs> Umla. I'll let you decide for yourself. Um, <laughs> then, Umla yes. is, let me tell you, not happy. Some might say he's <laughs> angry. <gasps> oh. Would we like him when he's angry? You would not like him when he's angry. <laughs> I, I do want to point out the way our icons are arrayed on the map right now. It looks like my name is Amkachka, which <laughs> sounds delicious. Oh. Oh. Umlalch. Uh, yeah. All right. I will go into a rage, because that's what I do. Then Amwal, being the uh, natural-born mountain person that he is, runs up the rock, hefts his greatsword, and jumps, bringing it down on this dude here. Nice. It's happening. 18. Uh, 18 will hit. 16 16 slashing damage. Oh, 16 damage will hurt it <laughs> yeah uh and then he's gonna do that again because it seemed like that was great success with that to so get back up on the rock like and jump back right, down yeah. again. yeah absolutely 100 percent. unfortunately it was an 11 Maybe which i'm right guessing uh, does not hit yeah. yes it's it's uh it works better when jump from rock it's never good, <laughs> it's good the second with its time. trident and it clangs off uh but that is very good uh anything else uh oh boy um, nope, guess that's it. I could run away, but he's just gonna attack me, so I guess I'll give him my undivided attention <laughs> and hope somebody heals me again before I mean I effectively have twice as many hit points thanks to um see uh Katska's healing and my rage means I resist. So hmm. I've effectively got about a quarter of my And more healings on the way, assuming yeah, that that's I That's great, fine. I will I turns. will try to hold them off for the moment then. I am prepared to run away. <laughs> um, all right. And you so can also the... run away as a tempo. 
Mm. <laughs> They're really great. When you run out of spell slots, you could still be useful. Mm. Uh, the yeah. the uh, uh, Balgra... didn't we determine the tempo was too high level? No, for the polymorph. Okay, screams only because the challenge rating rage. of the guy that I was turning was weak. Runs. Okay. Uh, oh, and no, then leaps. Not... No, no. Not this way. Not this way. Rhaegar is squares in a, and Rhaegar is in a cir- <laughs> circle of blood going like, wait, wait, wait. wait. Does that, that, way. that way. Uh, it's it's flying past you. It didn't even come across. It can I guess fly? Shara. It's, it, it jumps from the leap. top of a ziggurat. It, it can, yeah, well, if I, can I'm pretty like, tall. What can... if I hold out my sword? <laughs> It's, you hold I mean, out it, your sword, and and it looks like you're cheering on the demon. Yeah. <laughs> it has which that has cool a, jump, has, man. That's how you do it. <laughs> it has a crazy running leap. It's really good. Yes, and it lands really good. And the ground shakes as it lands because this is a very large demon, and it looks at Regdar and slams its fists together. Will Regdar die in the next six seconds? Find out next time on Total Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 